Hi there, welcome to this video for parents, uh, guardians, pastors, youth ministers, etc. Uh, for the Virtually Keswick Youth uh, Week and, and we're looking at Thursday morning and Psalm 5 just like Christopher Ashe does uh, with, the, uh, with the adult programme. And, um, uh, and we see uh, in Psalm 5, uh, we see David crying out about the wickedness of the world. Uh, and Phil Boraniak, who normally looks after the 11 to 13s uh, in week 2, uh, speaks on this in, in in two parts and the first it really shows us kind of David's response his kind of guttural response to the evil in the world um, and, I, and I guess a couple of areas this will bite with young people firstly um, David's response is, is you know is he, he prays for the wicked to be cast out uh, it's quite a serious and um, uh, in, in some ways quite a striking prayer um, and one that I guess young people will, will kind of think oh is, isn't that a bit harsh isn't that a bit difficult um, and yet actually as we delve into our feelings about evil in this world whether it's terrorism um, or injustice um, some of the uh, racial uh, stuff that we have seen uh, as we've uh, as we look at that well, we, we do get angry and we do kind of long for God's justice God's righteousness uh, to be seen and uh, so I think tying in with that will be really helpful for young people. Um, in the second part of Phil's talk he takes us um, to show us that, that praying this prayer in some ways it's quite a dangerous prayer that the wicked would be cast out um, because actually we too are wicked. He goes to uh, Romans 3 and shows us there that, uh, that we are not uh, in and of ourselves good uh, and this will just go totally against a lot of what what young people will hear um, we are not good in and of ourselves uh, we don't seek after God uh, our hearts are are, are broken are, are evil uh, without God um, now again this might take a little bit of teasing out uh, it might be that you need to think through how you'll explain this to a young person uh, I often find that illustration. I think we use it in the um, in the interview um, of, um, uh, of that you don't need to teach a baby um, to sin, to lie, to uh, to be selfish. They do it automatically. Um, uh, we're not in and of ourselves good and right, um, and yet what that means then is the answer isn't activism, uh, but rather. Uh, salvation rather rescue um, and so where a lot of our young people will be going is is, is longing to change the world uh, and they long to change the world often through kind of activism through doing good great stuff um, uh, and yet actually that doesn't go deep enough not that we're anti uh, doing great stuff of course not uh, but that, that that won't actually solve the problems of the world no what we need is a rescuer what we need is one who was cast out uh, so that we could be brought in uh, and if we know him uh, then actually we can rejoice verse 11 uh, with him uh, so that's where the kind of morning session is is going um, uh, the evening's going to look a little bit different to normal. Uh, in the evening, um, Andy Atchison, who heads up week one alongside his wife, Elfie, who we heard from on uh, Monday morning, uh, is going to be speaking. And he's speaking in a way that is aimed at those who wouldn't yet call themselves Christians. So if you've got young people who, um, who that applies to, it'd be really, really good to get them along to, uh, to that session. Uh, again, there'll be the bingo card. Uh, created so people can listen in and he's doing his talk in three parts so it's super easy to kind of get involved and listen to uh, and it would be a, a really really good thing to to, to bring young people along to uh, and, and perhaps just to ask afterwards hey do you know what where do you stand um, I'm going to be praying for you I don't know you but I'm going to be praying for you and for the young people uh, who you're looking out for uh, as you're having those conversations thanks